In this lesson, we look at campus bearings. Now, there are four directions there. N for north, E for east, S for south, and W for west. Now, a good way to remember those directions is never eat soggy worms. Okay, fairly silly saying there. Never eat soggy worms, where the N, the E, and the S, and the W are standing for north, east, south, and west. Now, the reason for such a silly saying is that, funnily enough, people actually remember silly sayings. So, never eat soggy worms. Let's look at some examples now. We're asked to give the compass bearing of A from O. So the first one there we can see O generally means the origin. Okay, so quite often you'll see O as the, the center of our compass directions there. And we need to give the compass bearing of A. So what general direction is that? Well, we can see certainly it lies between north and east. So the general direction, northeast. Now I've left some room there in the middle for the angle. And the angle is measured, in this case, from the north. So the angle is 40 degrees, so we write the 40 degrees in. So our answer there, north, 40 degrees east. Our second example here, general direction, is between the south and the east. So we write southeast to start with. And we're going to measure the angle from the south. Okay, It's either from the north or from the south, depending. So this time from the south, 70 degrees. So we jot that in. So our answer there, south 70 degrees east. Excellent. What about this one? The general direction is between south and west. So we write southwest, and the angle from the south is 25 degrees. So there we have it, south 25 degrees west. This one here is a little bit different. Start by looking, okay, general direction, northwest. So we write the north and the west, but we need the angle from the north. Okay, at the moment it's unknown. What we do know from our diagram is that angle there, 60 degrees. So together those two angles shaded would make 90, wouldn't they? It's a right angle. So we need 30 degrees there. So now we know our angle from the north. Let's write that in. So our answer there, north 30 degrees west. Okay, our final direction here. If we have an angle that's splitting it up right in the middle, so 45 degrees each, it's northeast, we simply write northeast. We don't need to write the 45 degrees in the middle because if we have, for example, northeast there, we take it for granted that it's directly between the north and the east. Excellent. Well, that concludes our lesson, a fairly straightforward lesson, this one. Good luck with your questions.